Hello, gorgeous. You're listening to The Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over. On this podcast, we talk about everything from dating and relationships to personal development. We also speak very candidly about the F word, and by that, I mean failure. So grab a pen, tag a friend, and let's talk about it. All of it. Undergoing, overcoming, and simply trying to make it through. Hello, gorgeous. You're listening to the Girlfriend's Guide to Starting Over podcast, and I'm your host, Kayla. In this episode, we are going to dive into my next big thing. I am so excited to bring you this offer, this opportunity to invite you to join me on this endeavor. It is something that is literally for everyone. There was a time when my emotions ruled me, when I was a spitfire. And if something made me angry, it literally consumed me. I was angry all day, where I was so sad often that I could not put my feet on the floor, where anxiety was my resting place. And I found myself constantly in a state of worry, almost panic. And when I learned to master my emotions, I learned to master my life. And so I have created this plan this strategy that will help you to take charge of your emotions and to start planning your reactions so that you can live the life that you dream of and you can create better relationships, you can build better self-awareness, and you can start to do all the things that you want to do, but your emotional dysregulation has been holding you back. So you may say, Kayla, who is this for? It's for everyone. And I mean that. It's for the girl who wears her heart on her sleeve who cries at the drop of a hat. It's for the girl whose fury burns like hell's kitchen and that sting of regret lingers long after her anger has faded. It's for the woman who's breaking through and she's doing like a really difficult transition and she just needs someone or something to help her to unpack and kind of go over the really complicated emotions that she's experiencing. It's for the woman whose anxiety runs through her like a motor and still somehow paralyzes her and prevents her from making decisions or taking action. It's for the everyday girl who's trying to balance being a super mom and a corporate badass. It's for the homemaker who is tasked with managing everyone else's emotions and anticipating their needs and still needs to make time to master her own emotions and to tend to herself. It's for literally every woman who's ever thought to herself, I wish I could just pull it together. Why does this bother me so much? This gym was designed for you. It's a very simple tool. And we will just dive into like a deep dive into your most complicated emotions. We'll talk about what has worked for you in the past. Where are some areas of growth? What are things that we can do in different vicinities? Because if you're regulated in the slightest, your response to anger or sadness or fear is going to be different. If you're at work or at home or in the office or with your children or with your boyfriend, like it just depends. And we are going to take the time to literally map out what might work for you in these scenarios, what's worked in the past, and what we no longer want to do or what we no longer want to experience. I am so geeked up about this opportunity because it's going to serve and support so many people. I think back, if I had had an emotional management plan years ago, so many of my friendships, so many of my relationships, my relationship with my parents and my children would have been significantly better, significantly sooner. And now I can offer that opportunity to other people because I've lived it. So if you're interested, reach out to me on socials. I'm going to leave all the links in the show notes as well as a link to purchase an emotional management plan. You have two opportunities. You can get the bundle. You can sit down with me for a 30-minute session and we can work through it together. Or you can just grab the plan standalone and work on it on your own. Those two options are up to you. But I want everybody who wants this to get their hands on it. I hope that this helps you. I hope that this serves you. And I cannot wait, sis, to see your transformation. Have a great one. Well, gorgeous girl, that's a wrap for this episode. I hope you found value, insight, or strength. 
I hope something was said that gave you the courage to push on a little while longer toward the life of your dreams. If you felt motivated during this segment, screenshot this and throw it in your stories and tag me on social. That way we can keep the message going. Have an excellent day on purpose and we girl will talk in the next